Get racks every day, she fuck with me now. I told her to lay my hook in the water, she like in my bay. Ain't saving a hoe, I don't wear a cave. You be for me, don't think you ever save. I hop. Yo guys, welcome to today's video, but before we get in there guys, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new because 74% of you guys that are watching the videos are not subscribed, so make sure you guys do that. And also, if you want to participate in giveaways guys, make sure you guys go to my Instagram and go to my latest post where it says giveaway and click on it and make sure you guys participate because I'm going to be doing a team of season and also the brand new all-stars giveaway right now on Instagram. And also guys, I just created a new TikTok as well, so make sure you guys follow my TikTok, all links in the description. But either way, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the full process of how this is going to work is divided into three sections. I'm going to explain you guys very detailed how to do this. The first one is jailbreak, the second one is backup, third one is the hack itself. Now, get ready for you guys because this is the first section right here, the jailbreak section. Now, to do this guys, it's very, very easy. I'll show you guys how to do it. You must go to this website called check rain i'll put all the links in the description you guys don't have to worry about the links it's all gonna be there in the description but you guys can see right there jailbreak for iphone 5 through iphone x ios 12 and 3.3 .3 and up so it works for all those ios's versions and yeah it works for everything guys all you gotta do guys click download for mac os right there the first link and it should pop up on your downloads on the top right corner now you go and wait for that to download and then after it downloads i will show you guys what to do Okay guys, so once it's finished downloading, you must click on it and open the download. It's going to open like this little thing. It says opening. And uh, yeah, you can close the Safari page if you want. It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what's going to happen right here. So it's going to open this, guys. It's going to show you guys this little window. You must drag the check rain application into the applications folder. It's pretty easy. Just drag to the applications folder. Once you do that, of course, I already got it on, my, on mine. So it's going to say replace. But for yours, it's just going to be there. After you drag to applications, just open applications folder and look for the application check rain. You must find it right there. And then once you found it, just click on it and open it up. It's very simple. And then let's go into the process of how it works the jailbreak itself. Now you see right there, guys, it says connect your iPhone, uh, iPad, whatever to your computer. Just plug it in. And that's literally it, guys. Just plug it in your, uh, on your computer. And once you do, you're going to see that it's going to be connected and it's going to show you there in a second. So, uh, yeah, I'm just plugging in right now. There you go. iPhone 7 connected to the computer in normal mode. Now, once you connect it, again, very easy, guys. Just press start. That's all you have to, you have to do. Press start right there. And then, of course, it says the device needs to be put on in uh, safety mode, right? And uh, it's very easy. The next thing you must do is just press next. That's all you got to do. Press next, and it's going to do the whole process for you guys. This application is very easy. All you got to do is just press start press next the next phase guys the next uh, step is the one that requires a little bit of thinking a little bit of a uh, practice and I'll show you guys how to do it also very easy right there guys uh, this is the part where it actually takes you guys a little bit of practice to do uh, just read the instructions on the video and it's very easy there's a side button and there's also the volume down button the instructions are right there guys you must hold the side button and the volume down button together for four seconds then you let go of the side button and keep holding the volume down button for another 10 seconds. That's all you got to do. Once you get the instruction, you know, memorized, just press start and do the instructions right there. Hold the side button and volume down for four seconds. You can see it right there. It says the counter next to it. So four and then you let go of the side button. Keep holding the volume down button for another 10 seconds and then you're done. So once you keep holding, you keep holding and there you go. Device enter DFU mode. That's it. It's completely done now. Now it's going to be installing. Make sure you guys do not unplug the iPhone until it's completely done. But that's it. That's it, man. You've done it. You jailbroke on your phone. Right now, it's completely done. It's going to be, you know, installing the jailbreak. As you see right there, rebooting. Uh, but yeah, don't disconnect the device until it's completely finished. And you're, you're set. You're pretty much done at this point, the jailbreak section. And that's very easy, man. It took us, like, what, two minutes, three minutes in this video to complete this. If you guys need, you know, to rewind the video and, you know, try to, like, practice a little bit, it may take maybe one or two tries for you guys to get this uh, pretty much, you know, memorized and ready to go. But it's very easy, very simple. And there you go, guys. All done. The, the, the jailbreak is done. You can now close it, your computer. You don't have to do anything more with your computer. All right, guys. Phase number two, guys. Pretty much, you already installed the, the jailbreak. Now, you must install Cydia. Open up the check rain application and then install Cydia right there. For me, it says 
reinstall Cydia because I already got it on my phone. But for you guys, it's going to say install. Just press install Cydia and then you can then open up Cydia and download the actual hack that for PaceyBits20. So yeah, open up your Cydia application and then once you do that, go to the bottom right corner where it says search. So if you look at the bottom right corner, it says search right there. Click on search and then you must search this up right now. I'll show you guys right there. It's called DLG memory injected the first one with a blue little icon click on that and then press install for me it says modify because i already got it again but for you guys it's gonna say install just press install and that's it man after you install dlg memory injected you are pretty much done with the pace bits part now the way to in to uh, enable that for pace bits you go to settings guys this is very important because to enable it you must go to settings scroll down on settings until you see the DLG memory injected application right there. You click on DLG memory injected and then you must enable it on Pacey Bits 20. So just keep on looking for uh, the application Pacey Bits 20. And once you find it, just uh, you know enable it for you guys. And right there, it's done guys. Once you have enabled it, it's gonna be now enabled on Pacey Bits and you can now start the hack on Pacey Bits. Now, before we get into the hack, guys, the very important section is the backup, guys. You must backup Pacey Bits just in case something wrong happens. So you can see right there, guys, DLG is already installed, and we're gonna get into the how to do it, how to use it uh, properly, because for some of you guys, it might be a little confusing how to use it, and I'll explain you guys how to use DLG completely as well. But before we get into that, the very most important part is, guys, backup. We must backup our game before we even try to do the hack because if something goes wrong we can always you know bring back the data that we had before so to do that guys we're gonna need apps manager it's another application just go to, to cd again go to search and then type in apps manager that's very simple guys is the one with the uh orange background right there apps manager click on it again install it and that's it And once you guys have installed Apps Manager, guys, I'll show you guys how to use it and then how to back up your data on PaceyBits anytime you want, guys. Just open up Apps Manager and then scroll down until you see PaceyBits. Click on PaceyBits and then it says right there, guys, backup and then backup your PaceyBits data. You guys, you can use this application to backup your data anytime you guys want. If you will lose a card and you want to go back in time to, you know, whenever you had that card or just for backup in general, like you guys can use this. It's very, very useful and uh, you can use this for any other application as well. But uh, now that you guys have backed up your data, let's get right into the actual hack and how to hack PaceyBits20, guys. Now, once you have all this done, now you're ready to go, guys, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Okay, guys, so now let's get right into it. How to duplicate anything in PaceyBits. We're going to start by showing you guys how to duplicate any card in the game. It doesn't matter if it's a Prime Icon moment, if it's a Team of the Year, Team of the Season, it doesn't matter which card you can duplicate anything right now and i'll show you guys how to do it now i'm gonna scroll down i think i did it on it was, i think it was cruyff so right there guys with cruyff you can see that we have seven duplicates of cruyff and once guys you know how many duplicates of the card that you have then all you must do is open up dog and go to right there U N U I N T or u integer once you click on on that guys then just write down the number that you know. So seven is the duplicates of, of Cruyff. Just write down seven and press search. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time to get the result because there's a bunch of number seven in the game. Just wait for the results to pop up right there. And then once you do, uh, you can then close down the OG again. Uh, so right there guys, found this number. Once you get the found, just close down there, go back to Cruyff and then quick sell a Cruyff. So it goes down to number six. And then once it goes down to number six, then all you must do is open up DOG back again and then write number six down and then press search again. So you do that, write number six, press search. Again, it's gonna take a little bit of time to, to get the result. And once you do that, uh, once you do find the result, just close DOG again, open up Cruyff one more time, quick sell another Cruyff so that it goes down to number five. Once it goes down to number five, go back to DOG and then the same process again, just, just write down number five, press search. And once you guys found those two numbers, it's always gonna be the number on top. So the number that starts with number one, you then go there, press M to edit. And then you can then, once you press M to edit, you can type in any number that you guys want. I wrote down number one, two, three, four, five, six. And once you write the number, press okay. And then close down that. And then once you close, put up Cruyff again, and then the number should be right there. To save this number, all you must do is quick sell one more Cruyff. So you quick sell Cruyff 
and then there you go it's saved you have now duplicated Cryf to whatever number you want or whatever card you duplicated it doesn't have to be Cryf. it can be any card in the game again guys i know this process might sound a little confusing just if you guys need to rewind the video and follow the steps again then you guys can do it and that's why we have the backup because if you guys get it wrong you always have the backup data saved up now let's get right into how to duplicate packs it's very 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 uh simple very like similar to how you do with the cards i'll show you guys again we're going to use uh, a, a pack called LTM standard pack for this method, but uh, you guys can do this on any pack again. But uh, yeah, guys, right there, LTM standard pack. You guys can see that I have five packs of the LTM standard pack. So then all you got to do is, again, go to U integer, write down number five, and then press search. Uh, again, it might take a little bit of time to get the result. Once you get the result, again, just like you did with the players, open up the pack. So you open the pack. And then wait for the you know the animation to load whatever once you have opened the pack you now have four packs because you had five and now you have four so what you do is you go to the lg and then you write number four once you write number four press search and then again you're gonna get the results of the search it might take a little bit of time there you go you got the result all you gotta do is open another pack so open more press open more guys don't press done press open more make sure you guys do that uh, once you press open more, now guys, you have three packs because you had four and now you have three. So what do you do? You go back and you write down number three and then press search. Once you have these results, you guys can open another pack. So close down the LG again, wait for it uh, and then open more. So you open one more and then now you're going to have two packs because you had three. You open another one. Now you have two. Again, same thing, guys. Just write down number two. And then you're down to the two numbers again. It's always going to be the first one on top. Press M to edit and then type in whatever number you want for the pack to be unlimited. I wrote down 66666, whatever. Doesn't matter what number you do. Press done. And then open one more pack, guys. Open one more pack before you get this done. And then once you open the next pack, it's done, guys. The, the pack is unlimited. You can see right there. We have now unlimited of these packs. And you can do this on any pack that you guys want. And now let's go to player picks because player picks is also just like we did with the packs. I'll show you guys how to do the player picks. We're going to use the premium pick right there. Number six. We have six of the premium picks. So again, just like we do with the packs and the players, write down number six right there. And then press search just like before. Again, it will take a little time to get the results. Once you do get the results, you can then close it and then open up the premium pick. So uh, let's do that right now. Open up the premium pick. And then it doesn't matter where you choose, just choose whatever. So let's just choose, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, let's go, choose player. And then now you have five picks, right? So then you delete six and then write down number five and then search. Just like we did with the packs, you get a bunch of results. And then we open another one so we can get four uh, player picks. So we open this one. Here we go. It doesn't matter who we choose. Again, choose player. And now we have four. So what we do is go back to the OG, write down number four, and then we get back to the, those two numbers. It's always going to be the one on top. Press M to edit, and then you can just put whatever number you want to unlimit this pack, this player pick. And then once you do that, press OK, open another player pick, and then once you open the next player pick, it's going to be unlimited. You can see right there, unlimited player picks. It's very simple, guys. I know it may sound confusing if it's the first time you guys are looking at this and hearing about this stuff. Just make sure you guys re-watch the video a couple times so you guys know exactly how to do it. And then all you must do is, guys, back up your data before you do the steps. Because if you do it wrong, you can always go back to the data that you had before. That's why I showed you guys how to back up the data. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys did, please make sure you guys like. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If you guys want to see more hacks and more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's still a sniper up and I blast away You ain't getting through me Nah, I took how I've been here Ten hours, my chicks I was Rising and falling together Though like we the twin towers Nothing's taking, I'm frustrated If I could only get just a blazer Ain't no doubt that I'd muster greatness No chip off it